Hello my friends, when asked online what sim rig to buy, a lot of the times people will recommend an extrusion profile rig with the argument that they are simply superior in all aspects over tubular rigs. As most of the times, the answer is not that black and white. It all depends on your use case and in this video I will try to point out the major differences between the tubular and the extrusion profile rigs. When it comes to configuration, there is a big difference between the extrusion profiles and these tubular frames. And this is mainly due to the position of the wheelbase holder. With many tubular frames, you cannot adjust the, uh, the, the wheelbase holder itself for height. You can tilt it up and down, no problem, but height is a bit of a problem. And this is for larger people an issue because the steering wheel can come a bit too low then. For smaller people, same thing, it can be a bit too high. Now, of course, there are for uh, this seat, for example, you can uh, tone it, uh, tune it a bit uh, in the seating area so that you can come a bit higher or a bit lower. But with the extrusion profiles, well, you can just slide the, the tray up and down um, for the wheelbase holder, which is a much, much better system to get really the position that you want for driving. Now, I have to say with most tubular profiles, I didn't have an issue. Again, I am of average height. So, well, yeah, that's not that much of a surprise and I didn't have any issues with it, but it is something just to keep into mind. When we look at the footprint, I would say that the tubular frames in general are a bit smaller than the, the extrusion profiles. Uh, it also depends. Uh, it is just in general. If I look at the uh, footprint of my trophy, if I look at the footprint of the uh, GTRS Simex Pro, uh, it is about the same, but normally footprint goes to the uh, tubular frames. I often talk about the lightness of the Placey Trophy and that it's very handy to just put out of the way by flipping it up and parking it against the wall. Mind you, while the cheaper models of tubular frames are mostly lighter than aluminium profile rigs, the more expensive models can yeah, weigh significantly more. Sturdiness and stability is also something where the extrusion profiles really score well in. Um, it has to do with the fact that the base is made out of one piece. If you look at tubular frames, they are mostly made out of two pieces. And with much uh, tubular rigs, especially the, the cheaper ones, if you break hard, you can lift, um, lift the frame up from the ground in the middle where the two pieces are joined. Uh, now, this is not with all uh, all the tubular frames. For example, the PC Trophy that I have, it doesn't have the problem. The next level racing GT Racer, it does have the problem. Something also to keep in mind with the extrusion profiles is how the vertical beams are attached to the horizontal beams. They are normally attached with a certain amount of attachment points. In this case, I have uh, two here, two here and two at the back. So six attachment points, which is enough for me um, and to test the wheel bases that I have. You have manufacturers that just put the vertical beams on top of the horizontal beams and just fix them with two triangular um, uh, two triangular connectors and that is a bit too little for my taste because it can wobble then uh, with the movement of the force feedback of the steering wheel. So style, yeah, I would say out of the box, tubular frames look in general better, but the extrusion frames, yeah, they, they, they look good too, but it's just it's just a bit different a bit more bulky a bit um a bit less form in them uh, more fluent forms in the uh in in the tubular frames so yeah i i think for partner acceptability the the, the tubular frames have a much higher uh, ratio of getting uh, of getting accepted Accessories is something also very different between both. Eh? For the Placey Trophy, for example, there is not something like this, a cup holder that you can buy, um, original from Placey, eh? you can always print something, but there is nothing available for it. Uh, while for the extrusion profiles, well, you have you have accessories for about everything. Eh? And so if you really are into accessories and, 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 and building a complete rig, then of course, uh, an extrusion profile is the way to way to go. Future proofing is also something that you need to keep in, in, in mind. Uh. If you buy a tubular frame, um, normally forget about adding a motion platform afterwards. Uh. I think uh, Next Level Racing, perhaps that they have something for their uh, 
shitty track um, but yeah uh, play seat I don't see how you can really put a motion platform uh, on this while for uh, ext um, extrusion rigs it is very much a possibility yeah? butt kickers also um, you, you can attach everything that you want on an extrusion rig it's just so handy to uh, to have um, for yeah accessories and future proofing um, like for example the motion systems or butt kickers no problem at all the last thing I want to talk about is pricing. It is often suggested on Facebook that the prices for extrusion profiles and tubular profiles are very similar, but this is in most cases not so. With a price of 400 euro, most starting 48, the extrusion rigs are cheaper than the average tubular frame. The cost of the seat is quite heavy too, with most of them costing more than half of the rig itself. So, with the cheapest price tag of over 600 euro, the price is indeed yeah, similar, but this depends largely on the seat you will have to buy with it. So in the end, what is the best? Well, there is no best. And, and it's for a lot, a lot of the, the versus videos that I do, there is simply no best. Um, if you are into uh, style and uh, user friendliness, uh, just go for a, a tubular rig and, 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 and be done with it. If you uh, if you don't mind tinkering a bit and, and upgrading your stuff and then you're you're better off with an extrusion rig because yeah it's just so versatile what I am trying to say is that you and you alone can determine what the best buy is for yourself and to be careful what people recommend on various fora most of the time recommendations are made without having a full picture of what you expect from the hardware if I had to choose only one to keep, it would be the extrusion rig. Partly because I have to change hardware a lot and all the hardware will fit on it and partly because I wouldn't be able to drive properly without my cup holder. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had something from this video. Leave a like if you did. Um, you can also use the affiliate links that I have for certain manufacturers and vouchers code to get a reduction. I will see you all next video. Bye bye.